All right, so good morning after the storm. I couldn't do this yesterday because of the storm rampaging over our country. But after the storm, we are facing this new day and everything is okay now, I guess, except for the people who really suffered in our country. So our thoughts and our prayers go out to all of them. Uh, right now, this video is all about the market performance of the indices, world indices around the world, featuring 23 world indices in 18 countries. All right, so this is the summary of it. We have an average performance of about, yeah, I saved that, 4.6062 negative. Sorry, I didn't put the negative. So negative 4.062 average, that means uh, on the average, the country indices fell by 4% last week. If you will notice, only one index um, managed to post a positive performance, and that's Indonesia, uh, up by 0.31%. So just a rundown on week 44. Uh, all ordinaries of Australia moved from 6373.70 to 6121, uh, down 3.96%. ASX 200, 6167 to 591930, down 4.02%. Stocks 50 of European Union, 3198.86, down to 2958.21, that's 7.52%. Euronext, down 5.01%, from 979.97 to 930.91. France, CAC 40, down from 490.964 to 4594.24, that's 6.42%. Germany's DAX down 12,645 to 75 to 11,556.48. It's now down 8.61% this week. Hang Seng in Hong Kong down from 2491.878 to 2407.42. That's 3.26%. Nifty 50 of India from 11930.35 last week to 11642.40 this week. That's 2.41%. Sensex also from India 4685.50 now at 3961.47. That's down 2.63%. In Indonesia, Jakarta uh, stock market index is the only index that went up, up from 5112.19 to 5128.23, up 0.31%. ISEC 20 of Ireland down from 1156.99 to 1129.75. That's 2.35% down. Nikkei 225, 23,516.59 to 22,977.13. That's 2.29% drop. Korea also went down 3.97% from 2360.81 to 2267.15. Malaysia scale CI down 1.86% from 1494.64 to 1466.89. 1 NZX New Zealand down 3.63% from 12,470.34 to 12,017.35. PSEI from the Philippines down 2.47% from 6484.06 to 6324. Uh, Moex Russia from 281.670 to 2690.59 down 4.48%. Also down 4.48% Singapore STI 2537.39 to 2423.84. TA35, this is a new. Uh, index that we are tracking now from Israel, Tel Aviv Stock Exchange, 1354.21 last week to 1329.57 this week. That, that's down 1.82%. FTSE 100 from United Kingdom, down from 5860.28 to 5577.27 last Friday. Uh, that's 4.83%. Dow Jones Industrial Average, down 6.47% from 28335.57 to 26501.60. This week, Nasdaq um, from 11,548.28 to 10,911.59, that's 5.51% down. And finally, S&P 500 US from 3465.39, now down 5.64% to 3269.96. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. We have daily videos about um, business concepts, uh, strategy, and um, investment and uh, trading we also have videos about life hacks and current events
without further ado let's go to individual country index all right so now for individual stock index first of all we have Dow Jones Industrial Average it's uh, we we said uh, from last week uh, we see an imminent weakening as the MACD uh, made a crossover on the negative side on the bearish side and so after that we now have the sellers outnumbering the buyers 44 to 12 look at the trend line it's strong and uh, we have seen the the price pierce the lower band of the Bollinger the Bollinger now is on a breakout and it's a bearish breakout our RSI it's at 32 it's still um, uh, not, not over sold yet and so there's still room for sell off the piercing of the Bollinger however saw a green candle last Thursday but it's not enough because last uh, Friday again it went down so we are waiting for the reversal of this uh, movement this is a very strong bearish move um, we don't see any recovery yet uh, based on last Friday's uh, movement so we await for next signal okay next we have uh, the stocks 50 of Europe it's another sell-off in this uh, country, in this uh, region, the Euro stocks. Um, the same as the Dow Jones, we have a breakout, and the breakout is a bearish breakout. So we have one, two, three, four candles moving past or piercing the lower band of the Bollinger. However, um, the red candles, one, two, three, four red candles, it's followed by a short green candle. But at that point in time, we saw that uh, the sellers outnumbered the buyers 43 to 12. Same scenario as the Dow Jones and the trend line is pretty strong at 27. So we are not seeing yet reversals here. We have the RSI almost over, over, oversold at 25. So maybe there will be a recovery next week as the RSI continue to weaken. And uh, it will uh, go past the oversold levels. Now we move to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. After a strong move last week, we can see that uh, there have been some, some sell-off. Although last Friday was a green candle, a strong uh, green candle up 74.61 points or up 1.19%. Unlike the other uh, two indices that we have um, studied, we saw that there's a red candle last October 26 piercing the upper band of the Bollinger and afterwards we saw uh, three red candles moving down but then there's a recovery that's happening you know there's a green candle last friday and it's a bullish candle rsi is still um, neutral at 62 we have macd still bullish and we still have adx uh, buyers outnumbering the sellers 36 to 20 to what is this 36 to 25 and the trend line is still strong at 27 so we can say that uh, it's not yet uh, succumbing to the bearish sentiment all right so we go now to isaac 20 of ireland isaac 20 again uh, went down last last week although last friday it was up 1.17 percent it was uh, a major uh, uptrend for the last two days so friday was up thursday was also up friday isaac 20 was up 1.17 percent so that was after the three uh, consecutive day of selling wherein the um the the candle pierced the bollinger band on the, the lower band of the bollinger afterwards a brief recovery is on the way and uh, it seems bullish at this point in time we have macd still positive MACD is still above the signal line. RSI is at 48. It was at about 40, 20, about 30 uh, two days ago because of that uh, sell-off. And we have uh, the ADX. We have the sellers outnumbering the buyers 35 to 24. But the trend line is uh, weak at 16. So we, uh, uh, for me, the critical um, move here is 
uh, what will happen on Monday, uh, on Tuesday. Uh, well, today, today because today is Monday. So in a few hours, as ISEC 20 opens, then uh, the move for today will be critical to find out, you know, what's going to happen with ISEC 20. Okay. So for FTSE 100 uh, of England, we still have the 200-day average above the 75, above the 20-day average of the Bollinger, and the price is also below it. So this is undergoing some, um, you know, confirmed bearish uh, bearishness. The market of FTSE 100, uh, as it still uh, go below, uh, piercing the lower band of the Bollinger, and it's still continuing to go down. If you will look at our sites at 31, still not over sold yet. So we still uh, we can still see some more sell off um, that may happen or this week. So because we're already on a Monday, our site is at 31. As I said, MACD is still past is still um, uh, bearish at this point. MACD uh, below the signal line, and we have EDX 37 uh, outnumbering the buyers at 13. And uh, the trend line is quite strong at 23. So we have a confirmed bearish market over at England. S&P 500 so it was also down last week. Last Friday, it went down further 1.21% down. Um, three candles pierced the lower band of the Bollinger. And uh, the green candle last Friday ought to have started a rally, but it did not because last Friday it was also red so we have here uh, uh, some bearish sentiment hovering over at s p 500 rsi is at 37 still a lot of room for sell-off um macd we have the macd below the signal line again bearish and we have the adx bearish um the sellers outnumbering the buyers 38 to 14 with the trend line strong at 20 yes so we have s p 500 also on the seller nifty 50 of uh, india we have nifty 50 of india and so 11.642.40 it was also um down last friday 0.24 percent down um the, the price has not yet touched the lower band of the bollinger but it's clearly on uh, on a bearish move uh, for the past two weeks already. Um, ever since it peaked at about um, 12,022.05 last October 12. We have the sellers outnumbering the buyers 22 to uh, 23 to, to 19. And the uh, trend line is at 18. It's still not strong enough, but uh, it's almost getting there we have the map these lesser than the signal line but they're in the negative and the positive region <coughs> so we also have the rsi still not oversold yet so there's still room for sell sell off for the nifty 50 so yeah so let's avoid nifty 50 for now because we're not yet sure about what's going to happen nikkei 225 of japan <coughs> was up 0.97 percent last friday Although the general sentiment in uh, this market is a bit uh, negative, the last major candle we see is the long red candle last Thursday that peers to the lower band of the Bollinger. But then after that, there's a red, uh, there's a green candle, almost like saying that we are now on the field of recovery. Oh no, sorry, this is not. This is today already. Yeah, because the market is already open. Yes. The market is open for Japan. So this is already November 2. So last Friday was um, negative, a long red candle. But now it's recovering. That's why they, there's no volume yet here. Uh, we have RSI last Friday at 36. Now it's at 45. It's moving up. MACD is still negative uh, below the signal line. And we have the sellers outnumbering the buyers last Friday, 34 to 15, um, with trend line at 11. So it's really a ranging position for Nikkei. All ordinaries of Australia. Yeah, now it's open. 
again it's open for australia it's now 11 44 a.m for them november 2 already october 30 last friday it was uh two consecutive um red candles last friday and last thursday uh it has not yet touched the lower band of the bollinger although today it's uh another red candle in the making yes adx last friday was 32 uh sellers 32 buyers 20 with a strong trend line of 22 so this is a very sentiment hovering around australia's own ordinaries macd is also uh, negative with the macd lesser than the signal line and the rsi is about 39.47 so we are not yet oversold over there Hang Seng of Hong Kong, I think it's also open because, no, not yet. October 30, 409, so we are not yet open in Hong Kong. Maybe it's about to open now. October 30, last Friday, it's a long red candle. Also, um, the RSI is uh, neutral still at 44. We have the MACD above the signal line still, so it's still positive over there with the ADX um, first time crossing over the the red line the sellers outnumbering the buyers for the first time last Friday after many days of uh, being um, yeah bullish uh, ADX points to a bearish scene but this is quite close to call 24.88 versus 21 with uh, 16 uh, trend line so that's still ranging yeah, so let's see what's going to happen with Hang Seng now that the market is open. IMOX of Russia. Um, this is also another uh, another bearish market. IMOX of Russia, uh, still October 30 here. Um, last Friday, it was down 0.68%, 18 points. To, to 690, we have the RSI almost over oversold. We have two three piercings of the lower band of the Bollinger but there's no sign of recovery yet we have the MACD still bearish ADX still bearish the sellers 37 outnumbering the buyers 9 and the trend line is quite uh, strong at 34.48 so no sign of recovery yet for Russia as we move to STI of Singapore STI of Singapore STI index uh, last Friday it was at 2423.84. It was down 1.10%. It's not yet open today. I don't know why. Maybe I need to refresh the browser. Uh, yes, we have uh, one, two, two piercings of the lower band of the Bollinger. Uh, they're both red candles and there's no recovery sign yet. We have the 200 day above the 75 day, above the 20 day, and above the price. So this is a confirmed bearish market. RSI is at 29, still not oversold. We have MACD having the crossover last October 26, is still continuing to go down. And the ADX look 41 versus the, the, the 41 is the sellers outnumbering the buyers 13 with um, not really a strong trend line at 18, but it's continuing in its uh, move up. So if it continues to move up, then we will have a trend and it's a bearish trend over at Singapore. ASX of uh, Australia, ASX 200, it's now open, 11.49 a.m. already in Australia. Uh, let's look at the one month view because this is, uh, there's an anomaly here. So November 2, today in Australia, it's a green candle, but it's still too early to call. Last Friday, it's a red candle, two red candles Thursday and Friday. And uh, it does not pierce the lower band, the Bollinger, although we have um, bearish sentiments here as the MACD. Uh, go uh, below the signal line and the ADX third sellers outnumbering the buyers 33 to 22 trend line is 23 so it's a strong trend line here yeah however the RSI is not yet uh, over sold so we still have uh, room for more sell off uh, right now uh, November 2 uh, the market in Australia is now open and it's up 12 points so let's see what's going to happen yeah Nasdaq. Nasdaq is down uh, 274 points or 2.45% last Friday. 
and uh, it does not uh, really pierce through the lower band of the Bollinger but it's there uh, we are nearing the piercing of the lower band of the Bollinger we have red candles all over we have um, strong um, volume we have RSI at 40 so still not over oversold we have MACD still negative after the crossover last October 23 it's now continuing to go down and ADX look at ADX 35 sellers buyers at 15 and uh, the trend line is still weak at 18 so we are still in the ranging uh, position here ranging and it's having some sell-off that's not enough for you Germany Germany's DAX again Germany's DAX is down last last week and uh, at October 30 on October 30 it was down 41 points uh, down 0.36 percent yeah and um, we have the RSI almost oversold there uh, MACD below the signal line we have the ADX sellers are numbering the buyers 47 to 13 with a strong trend line of 27 so Germany is on the bearish run Euronext 100 is at 930.91 it was up 2.96 points or 0.32 percent last Friday but uh, yeah we have MACD still negative uh, still bearish MACD below the signal line we have the ADX 41 sellers um, 16 buyers and we have a strong trend line of 20 yeah so Euronext is still bearish at this point what about Sensex? Sensex of India um, down last Friday down 0.34 percent um, it has not yet pierced the Bollinger band the lower band of the Bollinger we also have RSI still at 48 still neutral though the MACD is uh, bearish after the crossover last October 27 the sellers are numbering the buyers 23 to 19 but the range, it's still in ranging position with the trend line at 19 also so not yet confirmed for Sensex continuing to Jakarta I think Jakarta is the only market that went up uh, last week uh, it's at 5128.23 last Friday down 0.31% uh, RSI is still at 56 so it's still uh, uh, neutral we have MACD above the signal line so still bullish over there ADX the buyers outnumbering the sellers 27 to 23 but it's still in a ranging position so yeah we're not sure yet not yet sure about this especially since last friday we have a uh, bearish candle so jakarta is the only market that went up last friday last week okay we go over to bursa malaysia klci uh, was down 1.89 percent last friday to 1466.89 we have a strong um long candle bearish candle last friday as it went down from 1494.31 to a close of 1466.89 it went even lower than that to 1461 yeah so we have the rsi still uh still not oversold and macd negative after the crossover last october 21 it's continuing to go down it's still bearish and ADX also bearish 33 33 last Friday versus 13 with the trend line of 20 so it's a strong uh, trend now it's it has opened I think as we speak now we, we have an open market at Mal in Malaysia no transactions yet maybe there are still not updating here okay what else Cospi Cospi of uh, Korea it's open already 9:55 a.m. already in Korea so last Friday last Friday um, it's a bearish market we have a long red candle closing the week last week uh, today it's up 15.35 points of 0.68% to 2282 it closed at 2267 last Friday RSI is now at 38 uh, it, it, it was at 33 last Friday and uh, MACD continues to go down, uh, still bearish. 
ADXs also varies with the sellers at number in the buyers 32 to 14 but the trend line is weak at 90 so that's cospy for you but it seems to be moving up today cospy yeah what else CAC okay France CAC 40 of France was up 459424 close to 4594.24 it was up 0.54% last Friday up 24 points um, although if you will look at the uh, the candles there are two three candles uh, piercing the lower band of the Bollinger this could be a sign of a recovery because there's a strong long hard green candle last Friday although yeah last Friday it was up 0.54% so uh, it may be a sign that it's going to recover if you will look at our size still uh, ripe for a sell-off it's still 32 so there's more room for to a sell-off if it happens MACD is still negative uh, MACD below the signal line and ADX sellers still outnumber the buyers 39 to 16 with a trend line of 18 so still not very strong trend for CAC 40 last no not yet because we have not yet uh, seen the uh, Tel Aviv market so NZX before we open the Tel Aviv market Okay, NZX 50 of uh, New Zealand. Um, last Friday, oh no, it's open today already. It's 157 p.m. So last Friday was a red candle, and now it's a red candle also today. So uh, last Friday it went down 0.41% to 12,034. We have uh, RSI at 45 last Friday. MACD still bearish. Um, MACD. Uh, after the crossover that happened last October 27. Sellers outnumbering the buyers. The trend line is already strong at 24. So now it continues to move down as the market opened today. Okay, now we search for Tel Aviv TA35. Okay, this is the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. Okay, Tel Aviv Stock Exchange at close November 1. Um, yeah. So let's let's use 1329.77. This is as of the close yesterday. Number one. 1329.77. It's a green candle after one, two, three, four red candles. If you will look at the moving average, the moving average of 200, the long term is above the, the intermediate term, above the short term, above the price. So we have a bearish market over here. But uh, now the the price is uh, about to move up it's uh it's preparing to reverse rsi is at 44 macd is still below the signal line still bearish and we have the adx still bearish 32.83 the sellers outnumbering the buyers 21.16 with the trend line at 16 so trend line of 16 means it's still ranging at this point so we are still waiting for some um confirmatory moves for the Tel Aviv sanction. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something um, as we continue to uh, analyze the world indices. Um, the market um, went to a selling spree last week, uh, except for one. So the sellers have it last week. Let's see what happens this week. So let's hope for the best. The storm is gone. Hopefully we can uh, start, you know, fixing things and start investing again. All right. Thank you. See you next video. Bye.